Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 LP. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 17 and I've got an awesome episode planned for you guys. But before we do that, let's get into the question of the day. So my question for you is, you're allowed to add any mod into Minecraft and it's seamless and it's perfect, but in return you lose your elytra. So do you sacrifice and add a mod into the game? and if so which one otherwise let me know down in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this series and you want to see more make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out let's get into it all right guys we start today's episode off in the end i came back here because i was grinding xp and i just thought to myself man i really do not like the design that we have it's efficient it does work but it's not very good in terms of getting xp it's kind of hard actually so we're gonna fix that so i brought along some tools um some cobblestone and we're actually going to go upstairs here so let's go up and we're gonna make one kind of change to this and that's why i brought so much cobblestone we're gonna make a little bit of a change to this and it's gonna be so much better so you'll see what we're doing we gotta get up here first though so i'm coming for you steve all right up we go so first things first since we are up here, there should not be any Endermen because they are well, like 24 block rule. Isn't applied, isn't applied, is applied. So this is Steve. If you guys haven't met Steve already, he's a, he's pretty cool. I like him. I like him a lot. Um, we're actually going to change this to a one block wide uh, fall down. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. Oh my God, these tools are so bad. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to enchant today. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of all that. There we go. Then we're going to put blocks here and here. And we're also going to expand this just a little bit. Now you're probably wondering like, well, what are you gonna do with those? I'm gonna change all of those off camera. Um, now, initially the game plan was to do a two wide. Uh, and I still could still could do that, but the way that Steve is positioned doesn't really make it doesn't really work. I guess if I were to get up there and move Steve a little bit, I could make it work. But then again, I don't have another slab either. So I'm thinking one block wide will probably work just fine. So let's go ahead and put our trap doors in. There we go. So now that the trap doors are in, I would imagine that the the easiest way to probably handle this would just be to do this all the way down, right? Place blocks in, just like so. And then remove the old ones just like that. And do the corners. There we go. Just something like that, right? I think that'll take care of the entire situation, actually. The only thing we would need to do is just expand the edges. So, uh, it's not going to take a lot of work, but uh, it's going to take work. Not really. I think I should just grind and get it finished. So, what I'm going to do is i need to run back to the overworld grab some hoppers and a chest i'm also going to fix these edges um so let's go ahead and get that finished and kind of see where that puts us all right guys the, the conversion has been made i need to make a new pickaxe because we broke ours let me remove these these are where our hoppers are gonna go okay grab our chest put the chest let's put it right there Okay, and then so we'll be able to collect ender pearls because you know, I'm not sure when we'll need them But it'll be good to have some okay. There we go So the only thing left to do now is to remove the lights from up top and Our conversion should be complete. Hopefully it works really well. I would love to see it uh, How it works in person, but since you have to be pretty far away from the endermen for it to work it's kind of hard to tell whether or not it's going to so let's get rid of these torches or not not that it's going to because i think it'll going to no matter what but what i mean is, is like i would like to see how it works so i can learn from it matter of fact let's go ahead and do this real fast let's just see if we can bridge away far enough to get some enderman spawning uh, oh okay all right, so there is a little bit of a problem there. The Endermen are too tall. Hmm. How do I combat that problem? I think I can fix that. I think 
the way to fix that is to put blocks here. Let me block this off real fast. Grab my my trap doors here. I didn't even really think about that. Um, I think we can fix it. I think it's not going to be a problem. So I'm going to get rid of the edge here. Put that there. I'm just going to expand this bottom side one block like this. There we go. So the Enderman will fall into the hole. May even make it like this just to make it even. Okay. Now we're kind of winging it like we always do. <laughs> we're winging it, people. There we go. So something like that. And then get rid of the blocks here. So the Enderman should fall down. There we go. I think that'll fix the problem. Come over here. See if we can get some Enderman to spawn real fast. Might be too close still. So they're aggroed. Uh oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> the end has consumed me like four times and they were mad at me instantly too. I don't remember hitting them. Uh, I must have looked at them on accident. Either way, I think it's going to work just fine because they're going to be aggro to that guy. So let me get back to the end uh, and get everything cleaned up and I'll meet you there. All right, guys. So we are over at the Enchant Station. We have got to make a brand new set of tools and a brand new set of armor. We're just going to do whatever chance uh, enchants we get. Hopefully they're decent. Uh, because I just want to move on from this. Uh, after this, we are going to be doing some upgrades to the Enderman farm. That way, life there is easy because I have died. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've died a few times there, probably five times already. And it's kind of annoying. So I don't want to die anymore. I'm not a fan of that. So there we go. And we need an axe. There we go. So full sets of tools and armor. Let's get enchanting. Uh, priority is pickaxe and sword, then boots. So we'll do soul pickaxe first, efficiency three, unbreaking three, and protection three. Wow, those were pretty bad, unbreaking. So I think I'll do this one, unbreaking sharpness, efficiency, okay, not bad, not bad. Projectile protection. Are all the armor pieces the same? Protection, okay, I'll take it. Um, put that down. Let's do boots next. Feather falling. Okay, not bad. So we have, um, one more enchant that we can do. There we go. Projectile protection. Protection of three. Uh, efficiency and efficiency. Ooh, which one do I want to do? I'm going to do the helm. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do the helmets or because it's protection. You know what? Let's just do it. Blast protection. Ooh, per wait, what? <laughs> I didn't wait. What you can put separate protections on books now or on armor now. Hold on. I don't think I have any loose books. I did not know you could do that. Huh? Interesting. Well, we have a full set of enchants now. So the game plan here, I actually need to check. I'm going to take all this cobblestone with me and these buckets. We're going to go to the ends. I made a nether portal to the end room. Um, I want to do some enchanting or not enchanting, but I want to do some upgrades over there. First off, I want to make it to where Enderman can't spawn anywhere on the platform. Uh, then I want to put a overhead above that way. When I hit Enderman, they can't really teleport very much or stand near me. That's one of the reasons why I've died so much is because the Enderman keep teleporting. So anyways, I'll meet you there. All right, guys. So what I want to do is I want to get some slabs going here. So I'm going to put this down. Let's make a bunch of slabs. We're going to make a uh, overhead here that sits on the bottom side of this slab and it's going to go. I, th I think I'm going to have it go all the way around. So what we'll do is we'll build these pillars and bring this over just like this. Let me go to the side here. So right there, come down and then we'll have this um, 
all the way over. So now we can kind of stand in here without uh, without anything kind of bothering us. Another thing that we can probably do now too is probably just fill in the floor uh, too high. There shouldn't be any issues with Enderman. Now I brought a bunch of buckets of water with me as well because I want to do something with water to make sure that no Enderman land here or over here. So if I'm not mistaken, I think we can do this, right? So this is going to be half slabs. Um, I was, I was kind of curious as to whether or not that would make a source. I made a source right there. Uh, we'll probably have to end up, probably have to end up making our own source of water for that. There we go. Um, I also want to put water up here as well. Let's actually go ahead and just test this real fast. I'm just looking to see if any Enderman will teleport on top of that. It doesn't look like it. So probably have this come all the way over just like that. Um, have that come up to the sides. So we'll have like a nice little kind of safe spot to come and kill the Enderman. Cause I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like I, I had mentioned previously, I have died here quite a few times already. And it's that right there is one of the reasons why I've died so many times. I get so close to them trying to kill them and they just end up like mashing me to death. There we go. So fill all this in. So we got a little bit of work here to do. I also think I'm going to make some sort of redstone dropper system. I don't have any redstone with me. I'll probably go grab some. But I think I'm going to make some sort of dropper system that will dispense ender pearls into the void. Um, probably using those observers, actually. That's a pretty easy setup. We may have to wait, though. I don't really have a way to get down there besides water drops. So, uh, anyways, give me just a second to work on this, and I'll come back and kind of show you what I've got. All right, guys, so I switched the design over to stone brick. I am not finished with this at all, but this should make our life a lot easier in terms of killing these mobs. Not to mention they've got entity cramming like crazy in there right now, but uh, I still have some spawning out. We need to figure out how we're going to stop the water from destroying the rails on top. That was an issue. So there's a, there's a little bit of stuff here that still needs to be addressed. Uh, I'm not too worried about it though. We have a good way to get a lot of XP fast now, which is what it's exciting. So uh, I think we should go ahead and move on guys. All right guys, we are over at our iron farm and apparently there's some golems loose, but we are now on the newest version of Minecraft 1.14.2. In this version of Minecraft, gossip has been removed. So if you don't know what gossip is, that is the mechanic that spawns iron golems. So I'm assuming that our farm is probably not going to work anymore. So we got to check it out and see what the problem is and hopefully be able to fix it. So basically, um, to get iron golems to spawn now, you have to use um, most likely a zombie. Uh, watching Doc's video earlier today, he basically said that um, when a zombie is near these guys, and there's wow, there's three golems in there. When there's three, when there's zombies by three villagers, they get scared, and then they'll start summoning golems. Apparently, there's a chance for golems to spawn every 25 seconds. So, the question becomes. How do I get a zombie in there 
or near them without the golems killing it. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to remove the golems. Hmm. We could make like a glass tube in the, cen in the center there, like right in the middle or put them on the edges. That could work. Um, but they need to be within distance of the villagers. Wow, there is a lot of babies in there. They must have just got done breeding. Yeah, anyways, so I think I think we're going to have to figure something out. You know what might be a good idea, right? Well, once I get my glass up here, I have to go down and get some glass. But what we could probably do is make like a platform over here. Just like a very, very small uh, spawning platform. Something like this. Probably a little bit bigger because there's torches right there. But we could probably try to get a zombie to spawn up here. Or we could make a spiral staircase down. I think the spiral staircase idea might be a better idea. That would probably work a little bit better uh, and probably be a little bit easier too. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the staircase. Uh, that'll be pretty easy to do actually. Go here because we can just as easily go right there and then right there and just keep going down. It won't be the best staircase in the world, but it'll get the job done. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then once it becomes nighttime, I'm going to try to lure a zombie up here. All right, guys, that was legitimately the most stressful thing that I have ever done in my entire life. Oh, my God. So now that we have a zombie up here, um, he may despawn. I'm going to keep him here for now. We need to get rid of the rest of these blocks real fast. Now, one thing that I had noticed already was that we were already still having golems spawning uh, not as fast as it probably should be, but we were definitely having them spawn. So I'm going to keep the pathway here. We just need to get rid of the rest of these blocks real fast. Uh, I'm also just trying to bide my time to see if anything is spawning while I'm up here, but it is nighttime. So I would imagine that things might be a little bit uh, slower since it is nighttime. I don't know if that really makes a difference or not, though. So again, I don't know if the zombies or the zombie can actually see the villagers either. That may be another part that's playing a huge role in nothing spawning. So like I said, though, we did have spawns. Um, I was going to say, if, did I have anything up here that I could use? I could put the fin skates in where the glass is. Uh, zombies wouldn't be able to get through there anyways. Like if I were to put that right there, that means, okay, well, the villagers can definitely see that zombie then. So let's do this. So that would make the villagers panicked, as you can see, which means golems should probably start spawning. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> They're like, oh my God, that zombie. Now, the only problem is, is that I didn't bring a name tag. So I may have to go get one. I don't see anything falling yet. Huh? I wonder if I can go get a name tag and come back in time um before he despawns all right guys i have been moving got my tushy on the way no okay so hopefully the zombie's still here is the zombie still here okay thank god all right so as you can see the villagers are like panicking because they see the zombie so what we're gonna do is come over here oh it's actually working now i don't know how well that's gonna work compared to the version before oh by the way I, I should probably say that right now there we go so he's named he's not going anywhere um the version of the spawner that i saw i thought it was one point uh 1.14.2 it's actually 1.3 so i went ahead and updated to the pre-release that way we're on the proper version so uh if we did this right then we should see Gollum spawning um, pretty much every 25 seconds, I think. I don't know, though. I do want to go up and watch it for just a moment. Oh, there's some. Is it a lot of Gollums, though? Not really, just like one. Huh. Okay. Well, interesting. Seems like we had more spawn rates beforehand. Let's keep watching it for a second and see what happens here. So they they see the zombies. That's like 1000% true because they're like freaking out. Uh, they should be scared now, which means that uh, every 
every uh, according to what doc said every 25 seconds a golem should have a chance to spawn we'll see what happens this is like a first test of this if we need to edit it we can by surely do that i mean by surely <laughs> it doesn't really seem like anything is happening though so i'm not really sure how to fix this i would oh no there we go we got one right there it's definitely not as fast as i would like it to be that's for sure um i wonder if there's too many villagers in there i don't know if that could ever be a thing or not so he's definitely down there dying right now i don't know if the other guy fell down or not yet um hmm i think we're gonna have to like i think we're gonna have to rework this a little bit i don't know though because there's so many villagers in there there's probably 80 80 villagers so <laughs> it's a lot of villagers so i'm not really sure what exactly to do huh I may have to design a new design. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I think. But yeah, I, I mean, we had better rates beforehand, although, okay, another one just fell down. We definitely had better rates before. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Otherwise, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.